I picked ALS because I felt like it was a field that I could really make a difference. There aren't very many treatments for ALS. In fact, there's only one FDA approved treatment. We can't really do anything about ALS right now except provide palliative care. And so I feel like there's a lot of potential out there to make an impact in the field and help people. We are a bioinformatics lab. We try to predict what the underlying causes are and what treatments look the most promising. And a lot of data analysis goes on in this lab in, in hopes of, of predicting the future and letting other researchers know what's next in the field. Dr. Mitchell works with the database and I love the big data driven research and also is medicine related so that's why I joined Dr. Mitchell's lab. One of the unique things about our lab is that it is mostly ran by undergraduates. I really like their enthusiasm. They're new and I like to mold their, help mold their thoughts and use and leverage their creativity. There's something really special about a, a naive researcher and watching that growth process and being able to leverage that enthusiasm I believe helps the lab as a whole. The greatest part I guess is that I have been able to lead an independent project. In, a, in another typical lab you would have to work for graduate students and you would be most, mostly be involved with just collecting the data, uh, running the experiments and watching the experiments. But uh, in this lab, I was able to uh, come up with my own hypothesis and being independent with the research uh, has been the best part. Oh, it's amazing. I've gotten opportunities in Dr. Mitchell's lab that I never would have received other places because most of the work that I do and that my uh, peers do is, it's things that graduate students would be doing in other labs. So I've been able to learn a great deal not only about research but about the medical field in general. A lot of people think because I'm paralyzed and I'm a quadriplegic that I have ALS. Uh, fortunately I do not have ALS. Uh, I do have another neurological disease called neuromyelitis optica. I do have a fascination and an appreciation both as a patient and as a researcher and if anything I think that like the undergraduates uh, helps my enthusiasm for the research. Knowing that as a patient with a neurological disease that I didn't let it stop me and that I can give back to other patients suffering and that we can all work together whether we're afflicted or not to help solve a problem. I think that's the biggest payoff.